What's up everybody? So we are back with another video. Um, today I am doing a pop-off method and um, real quick I want to give a shout out to the first comment of my last video which is Steph Nail Love 6600 and she is up on the screen. Thanks for all your support and being the first one to comment. Um, so today, well, in this video, this was a couple weeks ago, um, and I was supposed to go live with Paige, but instantly when we connected on live, uh, just the, the audio from her was horrible. So I was like, nah, never mind. Um, so I just decided to do my nails anyway and record while I was watching her go live. So right before that, I had filed off my previous set and I still have the thin clear layer of acrylic on because I, I don't soak my nails off every time when I um, have like my normal sets on um, I just file down to that clear layer and then I keep going but anyway so um, I'm using the 876 nail tips I really like them um, they they're a really good shape they're a nice length um, I still am not able to wear them yet like at their full um, length, um, other than for like a pop off for a couple days, but anyway, so um, Valentino Bubblegum. I'm not sure if I used that color, um, and then I used this Bomb Nails color, Insatiable. And here is Paige's discount code for 15% off, it'll also be in the description box. Um, and then, okay, so this is the one I didn't use. I didn't use the Koopa natural color. And then this is my Milky White from Nail Supply Glamour. Um, it was the first Milky White I ever bought. And it's actually almost gone. Here's some glitters. Um, that was a mixed glitter that just looks like white. It was a mixed glitter acrylic. And then some loose glitters. Um, so, dude, this Insatiable color is such a beautiful color. And it's so buttery. I love it. Um, I wasn't, I didn't know what I want to do. I just kind of picked this out last minute. It was cute. And, um, I actually really liked this set and it's crazy because when I do pop-off sets, I kind of, um, I'll do something just like out of the norm, I guess. Like I'll just kind of take a chance on it because I'm not stuck with them for a couple weeks. Um, and I always end up loving my pop-off sets and I'm like damn I wish this wasn't a pop-off but anyway that was this set so um it was definitely a super cute set but I mean this set literally did not pop off like I I mean it did but it didn't like four or five days later I had done dishes I had done a lot of cleaning I had been using chemicals I had gone to work with Brad um and they were not budging like they they were on there okay and um i tried the cuticle oil and i tried you know just popping them off and stuff and so finally i just like sat down and took a cuticle pusher and some cuticle oil and sat there and basically forced them off and that shit fucking hurt um so, and that was the McCart peel-off base. It's a UV peel-off base coat. And um, I have that one, and then I have the UNT peel-off base coat, and that one air dries. And that's what I use for my practice hands, but that one comes off a lot quicker. So, anyway, um, this set was just super cute, and it was super fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, I because I was watching pages live I did have to cut out some of this because I was not paying attention and I was not in frame but yep so that's what we're doing here um I'm gonna let you guys just watch for a little bit um this set is pretty self-explanatory um you know but anyway I'll let you guys watch and then um as always I will come back in the next step or um, if I have something else I need to say um, but until then have fun enjoy some music and chill
Okay, I'm back real quick. Um, so these, the rest of the nails are going to be like this. So I kind of just start in the middle and I add a little bit of pink. And I fade them out um, on the top and the bottom. And then I go in and um, from the cuticle down to the pink, I put in that milky white. Um, and then you will see me add a few different types of glitters. Um, I'm not, I think I cap with that, um, Valentino bubblegum because it's like a, a clear with a pink tint almost. And I, I don't know. I don't quite remember now. Yeah, man, this is what I get for not doing a voiceover right away because <laughs> I don't remember. But, um, anyway, these nails were so freaking cute. And then I'm leaving the tips basically clear um the pink ombres into a clear um and then yeah the glitter adds such a beautiful touch to it i love it so freaking much um anyway so i um wanted to pop on and just tell you guys that real quick um also so i am working on um planning a shaping video an in-depth shaping video um and i'm just gonna kind of explain and show um everything that really helped me in my shaping journey um and hopefully i can pass some of that information along to you guys and hopefully it helps you guys out um and then i do um here soon i keep um backing out but i do here soon want to go live on my channel um and just kind of test the waters try it out i'm not going to commit to any like constant schedule of going live but um i do want to um try to go live not try i do want to go live on my channel um by myself because i've only been live on my channel with Paige, and also like my phone for some reason when i go live with Paige, um it like at the two hour mark it restarts right and then that's when like she starts echoing and I get real quiet so I'm just curious if it's gonna do it when I'm by myself too um but anyway so yeah those are a few things that are coming in the works um and then just more fun nail sets and stuff you guys so um all right I'm gonna let you guys continue to watch this now oh look at this glitter it's so pretty so this was my custom made glitter i made i don't know a couple weeks ago actually everything's a couple weeks to a couple days ago but really this was like a couple months ago that i made this glitter <laughs> um but anyway so i do this glitter and then i think i add um one other glitter kind of over the top of it and i just kind of have it going across the nail and um just kind of over that ombre color and stuff but anyway I love it I love glitter so much like it nails to me look plain without glitter especially on myself um so anyway yeah and then I played around with some bling you'll see at the end um I'm not a big bling person and my clients don't really ask for a bling Maybe like a cuticle, um, some cuticle rhinestones or something here and there. But they don't really ask for charms or anything. And I have some. So I'm just trying to um, step out of my comfort zone. Do some pop-off sets with some things I don't normally use or go to. Um, so anyway, um, I keep telling myself I'm going to get off here and let you guys watch. And then I find something else to say. <laughs> um but yeah so it's a dude it's finally starting to get nice out um we've literally just had our like three days in a row of 80 degree weather and it's coming towards the end of june we literally just put in our ac units and and then um that was the last couple days over the weekend and now it's back to 66 today and it was sprinkling on and off and i'm like what is going on right now Normally, it's been, like, in the consistent 70s, like, mid to upper 70s. And then next month, we'll be going on to the 80s and shit. But no, we've got some weird cold weather going on here. Um, 
But anyway, so yeah, I have this video that I need to post. I have a watch me work that I got to do a voiceover for. And then um, as of now, my hands are completely empty. So i um, got a couple more videos coming up as well. So yeah, anyway, you guys watch this um, and I will be back in a little bit.
Alright, so here I am with the beginning of my filing routine. And this is either a 60-60 or an 80-80 grit file. I don't remember. It was gifted to me from my best friend Paige. Um, anyway, so yeah, like I always say, I always do my shaping in the exact same routine. Um, and it just helps to um, get... My nail is looking more uniform and flow and looking all of the same. Um, and longer nails like this are definitely different to file than like, you know, regular size nails that's like on my right hand right now. Um, that's definitely for sure. So, um, yeah, to get them crisp, it's just, it's more nail. So it's, it's different. Um, and then I am now sealing my cuticles. I'm using a ceramic barrel bit. This is not a safety bit. Um, I've just been using different bits that I have um, that I've just collected and bought um, before I really found out what I liked. Um, so I'm just going to use these because they've just been sitting there. So um, yeah, I figured why not? I have a bunch of things that just sit there and I don't use and I need to use them. So anyway, I'm sealing the cuticles. Um, and so one of the reasons why I don't like um, these barrel bits is so right there, I just um, basically pulled the bit out further because when I am trying to go down the center of the nail, because it's not tapered like my five in one, it's hard to go all the way down the nail straight and smooth out the top. Um, so I have to kind of go at an angle and um, I don't know. I just, I definitely enjoy the tapered five in ones way more. Um, but I do like these ones that um, are the sharp bits that aren't safety bits. Um, I'm starting to like them. I definitely can get in there and seal that cuticle better and faster but I'm not quite confident enough um, to use it on clients yet so I'm just going to keep using them on myself and go from there so um, 
I used to hate filing. I really did. It, um, it would just make me mad because I would look at the nail and I would like see where it needed to be filed, but then I, I didn't know how to, um, where and how to file to get the look I was like trying to go for. Um, until I really did a lot of research and watched a shitload of videos and just focused strictly on shaping for a while. Um, and like the structure of the nail and stuff. So now shaping is my favorite part. I love filing the nails and getting them just looking bomb. Um, but anyway, so yeah, that's what I'm doing right here. Um, and I think after this, um... I mean, I always go back in with my sanding band. Uh, I'm not sure if I go back in with like a my sanding band or like a regular file. Ugh, I don't remember. I don't remember, but I guess you guys will just have to see and so will I. So anyway, I'm going to continue to file these nails. And then um, I will be back for probably the bling and top coat towards the end. Who knows? Might be back sooner. Might not. Enjoy!
All right, well, I'm back for the bling. So, like I said, I normally am not a bling and a charm person. So, um, after this, um, I would definitely do this different. <laughs> I wouldn't, um, sorry about that, um, bunch of traffic flying by, but, um, next time, if I'm going to be putting a lot of bling on like this and charms, I'm not going to put the glue on all at once. Um, yeah, it just kept slipping around and, um, it just took forever. So, but I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I mean, I knew I wanted to use that big charm and then add some little rhinestones around it and away. But I would have just done the cuticle first and then kind of worked my way down. Um, but I guess I would have had to have known what I wanted to do. I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, it was definitely a lot of slipping and sliding, but I made it work and it turned out cute. Um, I have a bunch of these, um, charms that I got. I also got them from Paige and I've never used them and they're so freaking cute and I thought it was perfect, um, to use for this set. So anyway, yeah, this is kind of my last step, um, for the nails before we top coat and um, I'm gonna just um, at this point take some time to thank everybody for all of your support and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe like this video and leave a comment um, we are just steady growing and I appreciate every single one of you um, I never really thought I would do YouTube and I never really thought if I did I would be good at it or be consistent or get better or whatever and um, I obviously definitely still have some improvements to um, do when it comes to recording and editing and stuff like that but I'm definitely enjoying it it's been fun um, and so um, and I just I love our community that we have um, so anyway, I just wanted to thank everybody for all your support. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your comments. Um, and remember the first person to comment on this video will be featured and given a shout out on my next video. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.